Disclaimer, this video is made for an adult audience. What's the upside my dear adult fans of Lego Soulbrick in the house and I'm standing here in this empty cave underneath the airport and next to the combined train and subway station with the Batwoman that I choose. Well, I'm more into Marvel than DC so I don't really know the story behind Batwoman or if this might even be Batgirl but she's going to be Batwoman in my town and she needs a space where she can operate from and that's going to be in here so I'm going to make this a bit more cave-like but also a bit more bat cave like so there's going to be a parking space and a, I'm going to build some sort of Batmobile and there's going to be like a computer area where she can work and some living space and so on pretty much everything will fit on half a base plate and I'm going to work on this wall also just uh, make some sort of entrance uh, ways here some sort of doors or hidden doors so uh, I think th these will just be covered up but this will be like a door that you can open somehow maybe slide it up or down or not down but to the side or something we'll see how that goes so her her way in is through this uh, train station tunnel and then we're gonna pretend that this is hidden somehow and she can get out here. Maybe it's some sort of a cave entrance that just pops out or something. That's uh, that's for our imagination, just like this is uh, like a cut out, cut away of the train station. So you can imagine that this won't fall to the floor here. It continues. So the same here, basically. And you know, it's all about pretending, building in your mind. Do you know what's cooler than cool? Ice cold. Ugh, <sighs> no. It's Soulbrick's YouTube channel. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I'm, go I'm gonna subscribe and like and leave a comment right now. Here's the secret door that you can open like so. You can see that there's a bat there. Just like a little hint of what's going on behind here. And uh, from this side, you can see that the door just opens like this. And here's a little password lock and that piece over here is from uh, uh, Lego Juniors set or 4 plus I don't remember it was from the Lego 2 movie and uh, over here you have like a modern art painting with the different kinds of colors of uh, plates that I have so here's the green base plate I'm gonna start with this rock piece that I've been working on it's gonna go down here in the corner and then I am going to place a big ugly rock piece the other way around. So it's going in like so. And down here we're just going to put a little slope to make that look a little bit more nice. So and this is kind of wobbly. But it has, uh, it has a purpose. And another big ugly rock piece but this time around it's going to be that way just just so that you get a little bit of a different shape going on here. And then we're going to have this uh, container that's going to be put in here. So we kind of like sheet a bit and extend this uh, base plate a bit. And then we're going to make a piece where we go upside down with one of these like so. And that's actually going to be going up here like so. And then I have a smaller, big, ugly rock piece that's going to go upside down here just to create an interesting shape. So that turns out pretty, pretty nice, as you can see. And this will be the entrance to the garage for the Batmobile. Gonna have this large uh, plate here or tile, I don't know what you actually call this big uh, piece, but it looks like a parking spot. So that's pretty cool. Let's put in some jumpers here. And then we need, of course, this uh, spider thingy. I think that's, uh, it has something to do with the Batman, I guess. So that's cool. And behind here, I'm just gonna have this long brick piece. And on top of that, I'm going to put this large screen to cover everything up behind there. 
we have this piece as well that's always cool to put in uh, in these kinds of builds so it looks a bit more industrial and then we have the very important bat kitchen with the bat stove the bat sink and the bat fridge and that's gonna go in here pretty pretty epic and look we have a computer system going on here looking for at at walkers and uh, you have the t-rex baby there and the red phone some radar and stuff going on so let's place that over here and then we're gonna go like so place a slope here and here's the screen with the joker the bad guy i'm a bad guy so going in here now we're talking i wonder if she could play fortnite or minecraft or something on that screen to make this look even more interesting i put these slopes in there but upside down clearly so i'm just going to finish that off a little bit with this slope here a little cheese wedge piece here or cheese slope i guess you call it here's her little dining area she eats alone because nobody can know about her identity or her whereabouts i've added an upside down big ugly rock piece there as you can see and i also put in some wines here just to, to give it some uh, some nice hominess you know you gotta have some plants that, that always bring some life to your to your home so i think that works rather well is there a gap underneath there yeah i need to cover that up and um, let's see i put some more of those uh, large slopes upside down there and now we're gonna work on the interior for the shipping container and this is going to be the bathroom i mean the bathroom so I made this bath thing with the soap dispenser and the teepee for her bunghole. Let's uh, put that in here on the side. And then we have the bat loo. That's the water tank. A bit tricky to get in here when you have large fingers. And here's the toilet bowl. Like so. And on the side here, th this is where the um, where the shower is going to be. So let's put these um, panel pieces around here so it doesn't get wet all over in here. Ta-da! Not quite finished with that yet, but I'm going to work on the, this area before I continue with the shower. And here's a bat vanity with, uh, I guess it's called shampoo or something. Female stuff, I don't know. And a brush for her hair and some training equipment so she can do some heavy lifting to get strong so she can punch bad guys in the face. To make this shipping container a little bit more cozy, we're gonna put in just a little rug in here. Cozy. Now I went a little bit crazy here and just uh, finished this whole wall section off. I needed to place this a little bit lower because I realized that it was too high up. So you can put the, the large mega base plate for the airport on top of here if I don't, didn't do that. So that's done. Terrific. And the bat woman, she needs a, a bat bed. So I made one here for her. That's, that's going to be on a loft up here. fancy and she loves surfing so here's her surfboard and she can have it mounted on top of here add some color to this uh, otherwise very gray area and as you can see she also has some flowers and there's a waterfall here that goes down to the shower so that's how she she gets uh, her water it's probably i don't think it's sewer water it looks pretty clean so don't worry about that now the Batwoman loves music, so here's her little boombox. 
And maybe I should retract that's what I said about loving music because here's her bag pipe that she likes to to um, I don't know make sound from I wouldn't say that's music I'm just kidding I love I love a good bagpipe solo in a rock and roll tune who doesn't this means that the bat cave is pretty much done now we just have to place in the Batmobile oh my goodness that's a beast it's a it's a custom one it's a mock I used those uh, minifig stands or plates that came along with the collectible minifig figure series with the bat people the DC characters and those nice big wheels they all look at them so it's uh, it's like a brick it's uh, some sort of tank looking vehicle and uh, it's just it's the same from the other side and look at those cute little uh, you know bat ears up there and of course a uh, jet motor on the back so she can boost away from the, the bad guys or if she needs to catch up to them and let's see in here the driver's seat it's a bit well it's a bit cramped in there but if she has her arms up she can fit in here like so oh. and then pop that on so that totally works did you just break it all right so it's a bit fragile in the back part but it looks good and that's the most important thing I believe it's time to put this in its spot underneath the airport and underneath the or underneath the airport and next to the train station subway station and as you can see I had to leave this corner out a bit so that this uh, bar piece here could uh, could be there for the shelves and let's uh, park the Batmobile in here. It looks pretty cool. That looks cool. I think this looks cool if I didn't say that. And we can have the Batwoman standing here right now. And for some added protection, she has uh, these little robot penguins that she reprogrammed from, I guess the penguin had them before. So if someone would come in here, they're gonna be in heaps of trouble and probably die. This one can sit on top of the Batmobile. Splendid. Let's have some handheld action for you. Look at that. I mean, I think this is uh, a rather cozy little cave a cave they call it a cave <laughs> oh my goodness this is nicer than my apartment you can feel or you can almost smell the the diesel and with that said i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching remember to stay out of the nonsense stay awesome and please subscribe